and welcome in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a dot plot of multiple scale variables using SPSS and the result would look something similar like this um, this is a visualization that you could use for a repeated measure um, but there are some others so uh, I'm not here to explain if you should use this I'm only going to explain you how it could be done the data that I originally have looks like this so I have four scale variables and they're all uh, gra uh, grades on a scale of 1 to 10 and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually save a copy of this because I'm going to change the data so save as and then I'm going to call it long and I've done this before so it asked me to overwrite yes then what I want to do is data and then actually go for restructure then select the first option click on next uh, leave the option selected click on next then we move the variables that we want to so-called transpose to uh, this area up here and we might want to give this a name uh, for example genre then we go on to the next and uh, we leave it at 1 click on next and I want to keep the variable names next and leave everything next and finish now I'm gonna get a new file where actually all the IDs this was respondent 1 and this was his or her score was a 6 on thriller a 3 on horror 6 on comedy and 6 on adventure and now respondent 2 is actually uh, the four uh, genres again and his or her scores on that. Now to create the dot plot there are a few different ways and I'll quickly show you how you can do uh, uh, three different ways that I'm familiar with. Graphs, graph board template chooser is uh, one of them and simply select the uh, index and control and click on genre and one of the options you see there is the 2D plot click on OK and you should be getting yourself the nice dot plot. The other option would be to go for grass and then chart builder. Click on OK and, and the first thing we want is in the gallery to go for scatter dot. Select the simple dot and drag it to the area over here. Now we also want at group points we want to actually have some row panels and in the row panels we select the one that has the group so that's going to the panel and the scores of the genres go in here then we can click on OK and this should actually give us the dot plot now as you might notice here it's not centered so what you could do is double click on this and then click on one of the dots and then make sure the properties window is shown so you can actually press uh, Ctrl T or click on uh, this icon up here and then at dot plot options you can go for symmetric and then apply as you might notice they're now uh, horizontally if you prefer them vertically it's actually possible to uh, transpose the entire diagram uh, it was one of these options if I'm not mistaken yes this one and then actually everything is vertical but then they're not next to each other so if you want them next to each other then you should have done the columns option uh, rather than the rows and that should actually give you then the desired result now what you can also do is go for graphs and then legacy dialogues and then the uh, where is it scatter dot then make sure you go for the simple dot option up here and then click on define then select the index again uh, and let's do it in the columns and the genre that has the scores in the x-axis then click on OK now we have them uh, next to each other you cannot double click and we can do similar things as before we can have the properties windows uh, we can click on one of them so that all of them are selected uh, dot plot options we want it symmetric apply and then perhaps again transpose and now as you can see they're nicely next to each other so uh, depends a bit on what you want and what you want it to look like you can change some other things as well uh, but this is one way of actually generating a dot plot of multiple scale variables in one go. Uh, 